All right, this video is on proportional and non-proportional relationships. The essential question is when comparing two quantities, what makes them proportional? Remember, the two quantities we're talking about are two things with different units. Let's look at our first example. Ms. Castro is throwing her students an end-of-the-year pizza party. Uh, Duarte Pizza offers free delivery and $8 per pizza. Let's list all the different possible total costs. So let's think about it. $8 for one pizza, that means it's $16 for two pizzas, $24 for three pizzas, $32 for four, $40 for five, and $48 for six. How do I do that? I just multiplied. I said, hey, look, $8 a pizza, and it's free delivery, so there's no extra charges, and so those are my costs. So how are the costs related to the number of pizzas? That's my next question. Well, let's take a look. So for 16 pizzas, there are two for 16, that reduces to 8 over 1. 24, there's 3 of them. If I divide it by 3, get the unit cost, I get 8 over 1. 32 divided by 4, same. Next one's the same, next one's the same. So all of them are given 8 over 1. What do we notice about these things? Uh, we should notice that all of the relationships, all proportions, proportions, are equivalent. They are the same. So that's going to be important. So we could say that these are proportional. What is actually proportional is the relationship between the pizzas, the number of pizzas, and the cost. So next are some de definitions. Proportional relationships. Two quantities are proportional if they have a constant ratio or a unit rate. So just like we did before when I found out all those different units, uh, constant rates I should say, I found out that the unit rates were all the same, 8 over 1. So then that goes to tell you that a non-proportional relationship, that's relationships where the ratio right, between the two quantities is not constant. So it's not proportional. Non-proportional, as they would say. Here's some examples. Going back to the Duarte Pizza Company, uh, 8 over 1, 16 over 2, 24 over 3, 32 over 4, 40 over 5, 48 over 6. All those are going to reduce to 8 over 1. Or eight dollars a pizza. Now let's take a look at another one. Domino's Pizza. If I listed my costs, one do one pizza cost me eleven bucks, two nineteen, three twenty seven, four thirty five, so on and so forth. If I try to get a unit rate for each of those, the first unit rate is eleven over one. So you think it's eleven dollars a pizza. The next one is nineteen over two, which is nineteen or nine fifty a pizza. If I order three pizzas, it goes down to nine dollars a pizza. I order four pizzas, it's eight seventy five. Notice that each one of these numbers is different. So therefore, these are considered non-proportional because they don't have the same unit rate versus over here, this is proportional because it does. Let's take a look at an example. Ivan earns $12 an hour mowing lawns. Is the amount he earns proportional to the number of hours he mows? That's the question. Is it proportional? Well, let's find, figure this out. I made myself a chart. So look, if he works one hour, it makes 12 bucks. Two hours, 24. Three hours, 36. And four, 48. So... If I compare the amount he earned over the hours and find the unit rates, I can compare this. So 12 over 1, well, that's just 12 over 1. 24 over 2, those are both divisible by 2. That gives me 12 over 1. 36 over 3, if I divide them both by 3, I get 12 over 1. And the last one, also 12 over 1. So, therefore, the amount he earned is proportional to the number of hours. It's proportional. I can tell you basically what's going to happen next. And for our last example, it says Delilah invited her friends to her boxing competition. Uh, tickets were five dollars plus three dollars for parking. Okay, so is the cost proportional to the number of tickets purchased? So I made a little chart. I said, look, if they're going to buy one ticket, well, that's a five dollars plus the three dollars for parking. That's eight dollars. If they buy a second ticket, well, that's two for five. That's ten, and then three dollars for parking. So that's thirteen. We don't have to double the parking because that's just a one-time fee. Three tickets, three times five is 15, 15 plus three is 18, and four tickets, four times five is 20, add three, that's 23. So this is my chart. Now it's a matter of finding out what their actual uh, unit rates would be. Eight over one, that's straightforward, that's eight over one. 13 over two, mm, that doesn't go in evenly, so let me think. Thir two goes into 12 six times, it would be six and a half. 18. Uh, 3 into 18 is 6, and this last one, 4 into 23, uh, let's see, it's going to go on 5 times 5.75 to be precise. 
Okay, so you can notice that because all of the costs, or therefore, because you can see that all the unit rates are different, right? We could say that the uh, cost for the cost and the number of tickets purchased are is non-proportional. Okay, so now you know the difference between non-proportional and proportional problems.